Welcome back to another video on the 3000 GT VR4. I am super excited to work on this video because I just bought a new microphone and I can't wait for you guys to hear just how much better the sound quality is going to be from now on. Alright, so let's get started on this video. Changing the rear diff fluid on the 3000 GT is a very simple process. Start by lifting your car on all four corners because the car must be level when you refill the diff fluid. The plugs may be really tight on there so you may need to use a breaker bar. The rear diff has a drain plug and a fill plug. I removed the fill plug first because this helps the diff breathe when you remove the drain plug, which makes it faster to drain and it's less messy. It also tells me if the diff was properly filled or not. When you remove the fill plug, if you have a little bit of fluid leaking, it means your diff was properly filled. Too much leaking means overfilled and no leaking could mean that it was underfilled. Drain the fluid for a few minutes. It is likely that your magnetic drain plug will have metal shavings on it. Don't worry about it. It's perfectly normal. Just clean it off so it's ready to pick up more in the future if needed. I like to clean the area around the plugs, the plugs themselves and the washers to prevent any dust from getting into the diff and to get a good seal when I bolt the plugs back on. You can install new washers if you want to. Personally, I just clean and reinstall them and they seal perfectly fine. I can now bolt on the drain plug. Next, I use one of these pumps to pump in the diff juice. Use the fluid of your choice. Personally, I use 7590 because it's what's available at my parts store. And the rear diff doesn't care much. As long as he's looped up, he's happy. These pumps are honestly terrible, but they're like three bucks. So it's worth the effort, I think. The rear diff takes a little bit more than one quart. It takes 1.1 quarts, so you're gonna need to buy two of these containers. Once it starts leaking from the fill plug, it means that the fluid is right at the edge, and that's where your full line is. So you can bolt on the fill plug now. Check that both plugs are torqued to spec and you're done. Please leave a like and a comment to support the channel guys, thank you.